Now we are going to start thinking about the central bank. Most people don't really know what the central bank is, so I will spend a couple of minutes telling you what it is. First off, a central bank is the monetary authority. Governments don't control money. Central banks do. They control the amount of money in circulation in the economy. We'll discuss shortly why they do that. My uh, approach will be this. Let me tell you first of all uh, that central banks are usually associated with one country or with a bunch of countries, such as in the European monetary system, the economic monetary union, EMU, or the euro area, as uh, 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 an agreement, all the countries belonging to it have an agreement according to which they only have one central bank and one currency, the euro. It doesn't matter now whether the central bank belongs to just one government or to a bunch of governments. What we know is that she has monetary power. Now, first off, uh, a central bank is the bank of banks, commercial banks, banks where you and I have a checking account or current account. They also have a checking account or a current account with the central bank. So that's where they clear their transactions through the central bank. The uh, second important function of the central bank is to decide uh, uh, what banks can enter the market. Eh? They do the licensing process. That's important. Banks are very important. We cannot afford to have some banks entering the market without any control, without any checking, without any supervision. Thirdly, the central bank does supervision. She makes sure that the running of commercial banks is proper, that things are done properly in banks. After all, that's important in the public interest. That's where we keep our money and therefore we want that to be under control. But now uh, you see that uh, uh, the most important role or goal, if you wish, of a central bank is determined by that country's parliament. So what we have, just for simplicity, assume there is one country only and its central bank. The central bank has been assigned goals or a goal from parliament. Here is a big difference. For instance, the US central bank, which we call the Federal Reserve System, has been assigned in the Banking Act of 1933 two goals price stability and to a low as low as possible unemployment rate why these two goals well because they were the legislative congress was afraid of inflation but it was also afraid of uh, unemployment they were in the midst of a big depression on the other hand the european central bank only has one goal that she is supposed to achieve. That is inflation, stability of prices. Why is that? Why just one goal? Well, because in the 90s, when the Central Bank of the European uh, Economic and Monetary Union was set up, inflation was the big problem. Unemployment was not such a problem. Now you see that what the Central Bank does, the biggest goal she has is to keep the dynamics of prices under control in both instances and unemployment under control just in the american system not necessarily one is better than the other just be aware that in general each central bank has uh, a bunch of goals that may differ from those of other central banks okay now how do they uh, uh, get uh, to, 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 to work about this. How do the central banks do these things? Well, first off, goals. Goals means control of price dynamics. In the United States, also control of the unemployment rate. And certainly, what they do 
is to keep under control interest rates. Interest rates are extremely important for economic activity, but for inflation as well. We'll discuss that in a minute. These are the goals. In a minute, we'll get to the instruments.